Good morning, family. Happy Friday. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. The sun is just about coming up. And, uh, you know, I have enjoyed my morning so far. And I was sitting here thinking about something I wanted to share with you. And that is, if you really knew you could accomplish anything you set out to accomplish, I'm talking about the real things that you want to accomplish. You want to have a certain amount of money before the year is up. You want to travel the world. You want to put some family members on. You want to see your spouse doing better. You may want to hire your children if you got a little business you're trying to build. Just so many things you want to pursue and so many things you wake up every day wishing and praying and hoping that, man, I hope, I wish, I pray today is the day or this is my season. Well, what if you knew all of the things that you pursue this year could actually happen? What if you knew that you could actually get your business to a place to where it could pay you and you could be taken care of doing what you do? What if you knew your ministry is going to take off this year? What if you knew upon pursuing those financial goals that you was going to be debt free? Well, guess what? You just got to do it. You just got to do it. You got to do it and you got to go for it. And you got to be willing to do it and go for it until you see the manifestation. Here is one thing that I have learned in my years of being an entrepreneur, my years of just grinding out. I started as a just a hustler, just grinding. And I say hustle in a good way. I know some people use it negatively, but... As an entrepreneur, as a business owner, I started as a hustler, just waking up every day scrapping, just hoping, just wishing, just praying, just going out there like a lion, just killing whatever I can kill just to eat today. And I did that for a good minute. And then one day I realized I, I, I got to put some, you know, some structure to this thing. I got to figure this thing out. I got to learn some stuff about business so I could be a little more legitimate, you know, get some insurance and save some money and get my paperwork right. These are the things that I used to think about because I wanted to do them in the beginning, but I just didn't know how to do it. And then I got that situated and realized, man, I still need to make money. I need to do these things. And so many times in that process, I just felt like, man, it ain't going to happen. There's just no way I'm going to get to this place that I want to get to. Every time I sat down and did the math and calculated it, I just couldn't see it happening. I'm like, man, it's hard. And then I got to a point to where, as an entrepreneur, I realized, okay, I got I to gotta do this, I got to do that, and I got to build this, and I got to build that, and I, I need to create some systems and some processes, and I got to hire a few people. And then, all of a sudden, I look up one day and realize, wow, I have built a successful business. My organization is growing and is and it's maintaining, but here's the thing. When I first started and through those ups and downs, I kind of forgot that it was actually going to happen. Even though I did go for it, I had those apprehensions. This is one of the reasons why I'm telling you, just go for it. Because whatever God has put in your heart is going to happen. It's going to come to pass. So why just play with it or why just flirt with pulling the trigger when the gun is in your hand? Pull the trigger. Go for it. Do whatever you need to do today to see to it that all your goals, all your dreams, all the things that you know you want to pursue will come to pass. I love you. I'm praying for you. I want you to have an amazing day on this Friday and go for it. Everything in your personal life, your professional life, your financial life.